guys, it's Charlie from Chinook Pomskis, and it's time to do our one week update on Icy's newest litter, on the, what we call the black tie litter. So for those of you who've been following us for a while, you know that we are an in-home breeder of um, Pomsky puppies, and Icy is one of our oldest huskies. She actually is, she's our oldest husky, so this is her last litter. She's now gets to retire from breeding and just live the rest of her life here and helping to raise all the other puppies. Um, so Icy's my dog. Icy's the one that I picked out and sort of waited my whole life to have. So for me, it's sort of exciting, but also sort of a sad day that she sort of had her last litter and she's raising them now. It's sort of, I don't know, they always talk about first, but these are sort of her last, so her last litters. Um, so, but they are all super cute and we're so excited about them. We absolutely adore Icy. She has like an amazing temperament and she's so good with the puppies. We've already kept, um, a couple of puppies from her lines. Yes, I'm not taking her anywhere. Good girl, I see. Are you going to clean her? Just because I picked her up? Um, so, because we adore Icy so much, and she clearly, as you can see, is a good mom. She's cleaning her baby. So this is the first baby that was born. This is Sparkle, and she wears a silver collar. Yes, do you love her, Icy? Icy's giving her kisses. Yeah, Icy, you can just sit, sweetie. It's okay. She's not, she's not dirty. It's okay. Icy's like, why are you holding her like this? So this is Sparkle. She is um, a little girl. She wears a silver collar. And she's very cute, as you can see. She has these cute socks and a cute white tipped tail, which we love. So um, you guys can tell their eyes aren't open yet, and they won't open for another week or so. Um, so we're just going to wait and see. Icy's last litter um, with Ranger, which is the same dad of these puppies. All three puppies that she had in that litter had blue eyes. So we'll see what happens with these ones. Yes, uh-huh. And you can see that she's got these cute cheek markings that'll come in, so her mask will come in even more. Yes, won't you look cute? Yes, you will. You'll look like your mama. It's sort of a cute, because almost all the puppies are black and white, like Icy. And that's why we decided to call it the black tie litter, right, Ice? Mm-hmm. And because they're so special, huh? Um, so we have, we got five puppies, and we have four girls and one boy. So this is Sparkle. She was the first girl that was born. So the second puppy that was born was... I'm the only boy in this litter, and his name's Tuxedo. My kids think it's pretty funny because he is the only one that's not just black and white um, at this point. And they say Tuxedos are supposed to be black and white, but Tuxedo isn't. And so they all love Tux. It's easiest to pick him out first. They all learned his name first. And he's the only boy. He looks just like Arrow to me. So if you guys have been following us for a while, you know that Arrow is one of our Pomskis. He's actually Icy and Ranger's son, so a full sibling to this litter here. And we think Tux will look just like Arrow. I don't know if Tux will be as big as Arrow, so that'll be interesting to see. Um, Arrow is 30 pounds now, and he's full grown. He's one of our bigger puppies. His two siblings of that litter are both under 15 pounds, so we'll see sort of what sizing we get. But Tux is the biggest um, in this litter. And Sparkle, the first one I showed you, she's actually the smallest. So the next puppy that was born is the the middle puppy. She's not the, or she's maybe the second smallest, I guess. So she's one of the middle puppies, but she's quite small as well. So her name is Fancy, and she wears a gold collar. Yes, are you very fancy? You can see, too, she has the cheek markings quite a bit on her face, and those are quite tan now. And they'll likely stay tan because Dad Ranger is a tricolor, which means a black, white, and tan Pomeranian. Yes. Are you so little? Same thing, too. She's got the cute paw markings. And you can see above her socks, she has quite a bit of tan on her on her legs, especially on this one side with the shorter, um, the shorter sock. Yeah, big yawns. I know. I'm waking you up. And she's got the cute white dipped tail. Um, so yeah, puppies at this age, they only, they basically eat and sleep. That's all they do. 90% of the time they're sleeping. So my kids love to come and snuggle with them, but they're not nearly as exciting as our other litters, a little bit older. And so my kids are even checking, are their eyes open yet? And I'm like, not yet, guys, not yet. Not until they're a little bigger. Um, the next one that was born... Her name is Glitter, and she wears a pink collar. Mm -hmm. You can see she's got like nice white long gloves on, huh? Are you all fancy there? Well, she's not fancy. She's Glitter. Um, but she's got these long white gloves. Same thing, the white, the white tipped tail. And she is um, the second biggest in the litter, so Tex is the biggest, and then her. So I'm interested to see. Sometimes that can change quite a bit, who's biggest and who's smallest. 
in the first couple of weeks because there's a lot of things that can determine how big they are when they're born um, that can change after birth. So sometimes we've had puppies that were quite small in the litter, the smallest that end up being the second largest. So we don't do size estimates until they're about four weeks old. But all these puppies, my guess would be between, um, I'd say about 12 to 30 pounds. And with more of them being sort of closer to the the middle of that mark. Um, I see puppies, her last, last litter was a little bit, had smaller puppies in it. So my guess is that we'll have seen most of them that are mm, like 15 to 22 pounds is sort of the size range I would guess for most of these ones. But again, we'll know better once we get closer and, uh, and their size is sort of even out. At this point, they've all doubled in size. And so they grow really quickly in the first couple of weeks, but um, it changes sort of from day to day sometimes who's bigger, who's smaller, because the difference is only a few grams for some of them. This is the last puppy born, another girl, and she wears like a burgundy color collar. I don't know how you guys can see that there, because she's so fluffy. Um, but she does have a white spot on her back, so she's the only one that has this white right here on her back. Right? Yeah. So this makes you easy to pick out even if you lose your collar, huh? Um, and so her name's Dazzle. And we quite like her. She's going to get not got these cute cheek markings that are going to come in. They're going to look like their sister Luna. Yes, who is Arrow's full sister. I'll post pictures of her in the next day or two. Um, but these guys are all very cute. She's got the widest blaze. Dazzle does as well. So they're all very cute, very sweet. We're very excited about these puppies. We love them. So if you guys are new to following us, um, we work off a waiting list. That means all of our puppies um, typically have homes sort of, you know, people waiting for them before they're born. We don't do allocations or choose homes until the puppies are four weeks old because we wait to see temperament and size and uh, a few other factors. And so we we um, do wait to do them. But if you're interested in a puppy from us, you can send us an email at info at chudukpomsky and we will send you back our general info and, our, and a link to our application. And then the people who are on our waiting list, they get to have preference on of course the puppies and so they go there first and then if we have any left over then we would go from there but that's never really been the case usually they all just go to our waiting list and so we're very excited about these puppies and to see yes to watch them grow mm -hmm. so these guys will be ready to go home um, not for a couple of months obviously not until they're about nine weeks old so in about two months from now um, which would be like March and so it's a nice time to bring home puppies is spring puppies because today it's like minus 40 out there. And I'll tell you, potty training a puppy today would not be fun. No, it wouldn't, right, Dazzle? She says, what do I know? I just stay here and sleep and eat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions for us, feel free to post them um, below in the comments and I'll happily answer them for you. And we, of course, do weekly updates on these puppies. You can watch them and see how they grow and until they go to their new homes. And we will post pictures as well. And then we do updates after they've gone home so you guys can sort of watch and see how they change and grow as well. And we, yes, are very excited about these ones. Um, Icy is, I mean, oh, I love all of my dogs. But she is so amazing. She's, got, she's so smart. She's got such a good temperament. And so does her puppies. Um, so we're really excited about these guys. We have quite a few... Um, dogs from Icy in our line still. Actually three of our dogs that are be either uh, we've either already used or we will potentially use in the future are through Icy's lines which is more than any of my other dogs so far. But again she's also the oldest so yes because Icy's also a grandma because Arrow has had uh, two litters of puppies. He's been the dad to two litters now and so and one of those puppies will potentially will keep as well. So we have um Quite a bit of Icy's lines because we think they're so wonderful and such a great, great puppies. Um, all of our dogs are wonderful and they all are a little bit different, which is nice because we have different sort of traits and so it works well that we can match the right puppy to the right family. So one of the things that we have in our application is some questions about the families because the more we know about you, the more we can help um, find the right puppy for you and help you sort of, you know, know what temperament would be best suited to you. another video update next week on these guys. So